Registered Phenomena Code 491 Object Class Alpha Orange Hazard Types Contact Hazard Electromagnetic Force Hazard Organic Hazard Transmutation Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-491 is contained in Site-031-1 inside its testing chamber. Personnel physically handling RPC-491 are not permitted to hand it over to another human subject, regardless of their clearance level. In the event that RPC-491 is to be transferred, one subject, temporally designated RPC-491-A, will be assigned to carry RPC-491 directly towards the destination. RPC-491 refers to a mummified human head that was recovered from the Achur tribe in Peru. The word, Gift of Love, is carved in the RPC-491 scalp in the Achur Shawire alphabet. The anomalous effects of RPC-491 are activated when a human gives RPC-491 to another human. Once the recipient of RPC-491 makes physical contact with RPC-491, the skeletal system of both individuals will experience a sudden magnetic pull toward each other. Once the two subjects collide, their skeletal system will begin to deform and grow rapidly, as spikes made out of bones begin to protrude outwards and penetrate muscle tissues. Said spikes will intertwine and wrap around subject ribcages effectively connecting both together. Subjects conjoined this way can live up to two or three hours before expiration. Notably, RPC-491's effects will not activate if RPC-491 is taken by force. RPC-491 was discovered in 1966 under the house of an Achur tribe family, along with the skeletal remains of two conjoined humans. The excavation team noted that the two skeletons appear to be holding hands, with RPC-491 in the other hand of one of the skeletons. Addendum 491-1 Test Logs Experiment Report 491-1 Test Description CSD-66316 was instructed to place RPC-491 on the ground. CSD-10314 was then instructed to pick up RPC-491 after five minutes had passed. Results. Upon picking up RPC-491, CSD-10314 and CSD-66316 were pulled towards each other. Upon contact, CSD-10314 and CSD-66316's ribs began to protrude outwards and wrap around each other. Notes. It appears that indirectly handing RPC-491 to someone else will also trigger the anomalous effects. Further research is required if there is a time limit before another person can pick up RPC-491 after someone else removes contact. Experiment Report 491-2 Test Description CSD-37794 was instructed to give RPC-491 to CSD-22991 through a hole in the wall. Results. When physical contact of RPC-491 have been made, CSD-22991 and CSD-37794 became stuck to the wall between each other. CSD-37794 and CSD-22991 skeletal systems were ripped out of their bodies and onto the wall. Eventually, the skeletons of both subjects collapsed under magnetic pressure and fell to the ground. Note, it appears that heavy damage done to the bones of both subjects before collision will stop the anomalous effects of RPC-491. Experiment Report 491-3 Test Description CSD-90703 was instructed to bring RPC-491 to CSD-42870 through a remote-controlled drone. Results. Upon the delivery of RPC-491, CSD-90703 and CSD-42870 began to move towards the direction of each other. CSD-90703 and CSD-42870 expired two hours after the collision. 
Note, it appears that handing RPC-491 to someone else indirectly from a distance will still result in its anomalous effect triggering. Addendum 491-2 A Chore Tradition The following is a note from the Bureau of Acquisition regarding a practice of the Achur tribe. Tribal couples on the verge of death tend to stay together, even if it means being buried alive together. During the funeral, a gift is often made to represent the couple's descent from one world to the other. This sacred gift often comes in the form of a prized possession from the husband, and can only be given to the wife who chooses to accompany the husband in death. The purpose of the gift is to bind the flesh and spirit together before their descent into the afterlife. The couple, along with the prized gift, are buried together in a hollowed-out log resembling a canoe that is then buried in the middle of the house. This is to remember the spiritual presence of the ones that passed away.